Stage 7 of the Caterpillar Tour of Tasmania begins in Burnie. One of the most popular tourist attractions is the Emu Valley Rhododendron Garden, featuring more than 20,000 rhododendrons. Lovely walks and landscaped areas which showcase a variety of plants from different regions of the world. The Burnie to Burnie Road Race today, 83 kilometres, we've got two Category 3 climbs. Normally you would think that those climbs are fairly easy, however, they're very short and very, very steep, up to 20% for the second climb of the day. Drapak professional cycling team have thrown everything at young Jack Haig this week. They are on the attack yesterday, they are on the attack the day before. The big question is going to be, does the Drapak team have the legs to continue on for one more day? Today is the penultimate day. Jack Haig could lose the bike race, but Robbie Hucker is going to have to try and win it. We did everything we could yesterday. Um, it just showed how strong Genesis and particularly Jack himself um, we had three in a group of five and he was still able to control myself and Lappers, but we managed to get Bernie up the road for the win, so it was good for us yesterday. Andrew Christie Johnson, he's always looking for a stage win or just trying to get as much out of a tour as possible, so we're just gonna, yeah, just look after Robbie and Lappers, make sure they don't get up the road and then hopefully finish in yellow and have a nice crit tomorrow, and maybe see if we can get a stage win. stage today was animated by an eight-man breakaway that went clear after six kilometres. The man with the most to gain from this breakaway was Drapak professional cycling team Will Walker. The reason for that being is he was chasing the green jersey. This was the penultimate stage of this tour and the last chance for Robbie Hucker from Drapak Professional Cycling to really take the race up to Jack Haig and he did so on the King of the Mountains challenges. He attacked Haig, but young Jack Haig was able to take on the attacking from Robbie Hucker and he has defended his yellow jersey. On the second KOM, uh, that's when most of the action came down with Robbie and Lappers doing a couple of different one-two moves and then trying to go off the front. But even just throughout the race, they tried a couple of times in some of the undulating sections, but the boys did an amazing job. We managed to cover them all. The big disadvantage for the breakaway is they had Joseph Cooper of Hugh and Salmon team sitting there just being the policeman for this breakaway. He bided his time, didn't do any work in the breakaway and as the breakaway split to pieces on the second KOM of the day, that is where Joe Cooper pounced. Once I flick that switch it's like... Uh... I've started now, I have to finish it, like there's no, nothing worse than getting caught so I just had to empty the tank and uh, not much goes through your mind apart from push-pull, push-pull and just get the job done. He used his New Zealand time trial champion's ability to ride off the front of the breakaway and win the stage here in Burnie by 45 seconds in front of yesterday's stage winner Bernie Salzberger from Drapak Cycling and Will Walker into third place. Oh, this stage win means everything to me. I think this is probably my best win of the NRS so far. Just the hardest tour and this has been the hardest race and it's come at the end of a very taxing season so I'm just happy to get the job done for the boys today and uh, it's a bit of rewards for all the hard work I've been doing over the last five days. So I'm extremely proud to be wearing the yellow jersey with only one stage to go with the Criterium. When I looked at the uh, people that have won this previously it's a pretty impressive list with Richie Port and Cadell Evans in there as well so I'm honoured to be able to hopefully get on that list up at the end of tomorrow.